Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and today I wanted to talk to you about what Intel released at CES 2020, which is the Intel DG1 GPU. Now, it was a lackluster performance as far as graphics and gaming, but I'm more concerned about the compute side of it, because that's where we're going to be concerned as far as mining and cryptocurrency mining. The GPU is brand new, and there's going to be some growing pains. But that's what I want to talk to you about today, as well as what can we expect in the future. There's a number of different media outlets that have covered this GPU as far as the graphical standpoint. But Intel re revealed it at CES 2020. It's built on the XE graphics architecture. And they have a software development vehicle releasing out to independent software vendors this kit so that way they can uh, develop their programs application code whatever based on this XE architecture or working with this XE architecture you won't be able to buy it outright and it's rumored to have 96 EU so it's not like CUDA cores or anything like that it's called execution units the DG1 is built on 10 nanometer process and while it was showcased at CES on a laptop and desktop variant it was an underperformer. It doesn't have external power connectors, and this specific card, DG1, from what we saw, can only it only gets its power from the PCIe slot, which we know is under 75 watts of power. Intel did show that the DG1 running in an SDV box being sent to developers playing Warframe at 1080p, no frame rate was displayed on screen, but the eyeball put the range around 40 frames per second. The discrete XE graphics card won't resemble what we're seeing in the DG1 SDV. So the look of it is not going to be the same. They're going to change that up. But Intel is not, in my opinion, worried right now about the desktop space. I know a lot of consumers and, and uh, desktop users would like to have a, a discrete GPU from Intel as soon as possible. I believe they're focused more on the server side and the compute side. Just recently, they're working with the U.S. Department of Energy uh, that announced Aurora, which is going to be the world's first supercomputer capable of sustained exascale computing. They're expecting that to be delivered around 2021, and I believe that's where the GPU is going to get most of its market share from, or that's where Intel is going to get most of its market share from, because AMD is actually encroaching upon that server space so Intel wants to reclaim some of that market share back and I believe that they're gonna focus on that arena first and then everything is gonna trickle down the reason I say that is even though Larrabee was a failure as far as Intel Intel has not this is not the first time they've tried to do this matter of fact anytime a manufacturer develops something for the consumer nine times out of ten it's probably been developed on the military or uh, for the government in some form factor and then has a revision made to be released to consumers. So we, we can see most of our technology trickling down as things progress. For example, GPS. GPS was used by the military and then slowly but surely started to trickle down into the consumer market on our cell phones, devices, Tom Toms, whatever you want to use. So we can expect that Intel is going to focus on the server side and then slowly but surely trickle it down to the GPUs or discrete graphics for the desktop market. It's very important that software developers get in on this, but the software developers that I'm talking about aren't our normal developers for miners. So like Claymore Miner, Wild Rig, um, Phoenix, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to use, whether it's NVIDIA or AMD. Intel is giving out these kits so to speak to software developers so that way they can see what works what doesn't with the XE architecture provide feedback and then they can make adjustments or revisions as far as the driver goes they're expecting the release date to be sum summer 2020 but take that with a grain of salt because I've seen projections like this and it didn't work out that well so if you want to know when you can expect this GPU to be out I'm realistically not expecting it to the end of 2020 or uh, Q1 or Q2 of 2021. 
but I could be wrong. This is just my thoughts and my opinion. Feel free to share your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. But if they're expecting a new discrete graphics based on the XE architecture to be out in summer 2020, the XE family is going to be the XE LP, XE HP, XE HPC, which is going all the way from entry to the high performance computing cards. And they'll hold anything from 96 execution units all the way up to 512 execution units for the enthusiasts or da data center uh, customers. But Intel is wanting to get its mobile graphics squared away, right? Because we all know that Intel integrated graphics are not the best, which is why Intel on most laptops would pair a discrete GPU. But now that AMD or most of the AMD engineers have been acquired by Intel, they're trying to uh, boost their mobile graphics. They're trying to improve their their hold within the data center with introdu the introduction of their GPUs as well as their scalable technology, whether that's uh, their CPU or GPU market. What can you expect as a miner, though? That's the, that's the real thing. So these cards, by the way, are going to range anywhere from two hundred to a thousand dollars. And different variants are going to obviously cost different. They're going to come with different uh, amount of execution units, different memory, all that good stuff. But from a mining aspect, here's what I want you to think about. AMD 5000 series released. I got the card. I went to go start mining, do some testing. The performance was not there. Why? Well, because the miners weren't developed for those GPUs or that architecture. So then the miners themselves had to implement or update changes to their mining programs even the mining operating systems in order to utilize that GPU that took some time even after the card was released that took some time these software developers that are getting these cards uh, from Intel or their these SDV kits are not going to be our mining developers these mining developers are going to get the cards around the same time you and I will and for example maybe somebody like Carter from Bitsby Trippin or myself would get the card and then we would send it to the developer or work with them to help them optimize their miner to use, utilize the GPU and the architecture within. That's going to take some time just like it did with the AMD series. I wasn't able to start mining or mining efficiently until later. Like There's even still some miners that I can't mine with the RX 5000 series at all. So we're going to have to give it some time for one, the release of the hardware to go to the consumer market like desktop GPUs. Once that's released, then we have to let the minor developers catch up and develop the, the software for it. Then there's going to be driver improvements. AMD has constantly had driver revisions done to their GPUs and just recently on the 9th, uh, they've released another optimization and there's subtle improvements every now and then. You know, Intel's not going to come out the gates running. It's going to take some time to optimize not only for the gaming side but for the mining side and we just as miners are going to have to be patient with it. So I would urge you uh, not to pre-order anything. Uh, make sure you listen to sound reviews. Usually not 100% but usually we can determine mining performance based off of graphical performance. Uh, there's a couple of variables that go in there so you can't really pick out every single detail but you can determine the mining performance of some of these cards based on its graphical performance and wait for reviews to come out wait for other people to, to, to pitch in and help out the mining community we all work together anytime I get a card that's brand new I always post my results information Twitter reddit discord trying to help everybody out but gamers nexus Gordon uh, from PC World, everybody's done a, a wonderful job covering this Intel GPU, but you can't expect a lot from it right now. This is Intel's first step. They have done this before and it didn't turn out too well, so we're going to see how things turn out. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Do me a favor, if you got any useful information on this video, hit the like button, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff that helps me out, and I appreciate you guys stopping by. We'll catch you later. Thank <laughs> you.